Hello guys, Blade Arts here. I'm going to be taking a look at Blade in Seoul. It's a Korean MMO, currently in open beta in China. So that's how I actually got in. They have plans for Western localization, though it's kind of in the water yet. They haven't said anything since December 2012, so nobody really has any idea what's happening with the localization. But that's not why I'm making this video. I managed to get into the beta. I don't really understand anything. I don't speak Chinese. I don't read Chinese. So uh, there are guides and stuff on the internet for people that actually want to play the game and are dedicated enough to look through all the Chinese runes and just level up and do basic stuff just following guides and then they get a hang of it, hang for it themselves. But uh, that's not what I'm going to be checking out today. Today I'm going to be checking out the character creator. You can see some of my previous attempts here with buff McHuge. He's so tall, you can't even pan the camera to see his head. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, some really wild options in the character creator, and that's why I love the character creator in this game so much. And I got to play around with it a little bit the other day. So there's he is, and yes, he is that tall in game. An NPC, just say a female NPC is up to his crotch. <laughs> About that tall. So he's, he's gigantic. And this was when I was testing some of the more... After you do the first two presets and the different uh, options you can do with the face and the body, you can kind of just go wild with it. It'll give you between uh, minus 20 and 20. And you can either end of the scale and you'll get some wild options if you actually want to risk that. That's uh, something for someone who actually wants to spend a lot of time on their character and they understand what each slider does and they can make a more unique character so that's a really cool option of course I'm pretty bad at making females so there's the female version I did kinda me I'm, I'm not too happy with it but oh well so during this video I'm gonna be making one of the little cat races the lolly cats and uh, see how it goes explain some stuff. So these are the different races. There's the health guy. No, there's just the men, women, more humanish. These are the huge ones. See, this is the race Buff McHugh is on. You can actually make them really tall and they're super muscular. The female versions are well endowed. There's the little elf people, little lolly people I'm going to be making. And here's more of the elves. See, they don't have a male version of this race. So, a lot slender, elf-like ears. Two different classes, so I'll make this one. Just give it the samurai sword right now. See, I'm not too really sure what they are. I assume... I'll have to read up on it more. It's probably wikis and everything all about the game and the lore, all sorts of things. So when you first create a character, you get a bunch of presets and choose different faces, different... Some of them are really good actually and really well done. But if you want your own unique character, you can kind of change all kinds of options. And of course, it's the different faces, skin tone, hairstyle, which kind of ears you want. So this one would be like... Wow. Jesus. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I, I can't even name half the animals <laughs> these are supposed to be. All I know is the cat ears. Cat tail. Okay, I'm going I'm to make the cat version. But you can the rabbit. All sorts of things. Squirrel. Bat. Jesus. Yeah, I have no idea what a lot of these things are. But I'll just make this one. What kind of body do you want? So you can make them really small. And th this is more uh, expanded on when I was talking about the other thing. It was all the different sliders you can adjust. You can make an abomination or you can make a really good character if you want to go into that. So I'm just gonna, this is my favorite body set for them. A bit taller. Actually, I should go into the presets first and find a nice face to use.
kind of like, you know, that's, that's not too bad. Then I gotta change the body shape, gotta change the ears. Actually, the chin's kind of weird. Hmm. Could always change the face. Yeah, this is, yeah, that's a better looking chin. Then of course you have to go back, change all the settings again. And this would be body gloss. I don't really like it on my character. Don't think it looks too good, but you can always do 5%. That'd be face gloss. Why would you want a shiny nose? Hell, beats me. But some people are going to use that. For all the, diff all the four races uh, that you can pick and choose, when you're in the character creator, you can choose a backdrop for them. So there's four backdrops. Some pretty nice ones. Uh, I like the sunnier ones, but this one you can actually change the lighting on. It's the only one that lets you change all the lighting options. It's really cool. But I'm going to go for this one. And of course, there's the different emotes, poses, and clothing. See, this would be their casual wear. I want to actually wear a class wear. This one looks really silly though. It's like a fucking biker. <laughs> this one's a lot more practical. Looks pretty damn good. But let's see. See, it's harder to dodge the body though. Like what, you're, what kind of changes you're making to the body with some of these. All kinds of different air cells. I think my favorite was it's somewhere around here. Not drill spike hair. Not ponytails. This one. Yeah. I think this one looks really good. Usually just chuck some black hair on her. So that'd be the first little area. Pretty straightforward. The only time it gets confusing, and you'll actually have to remember each and every, uh, each and every attribute and what what is on before you change it, would be this one, because you can really screw up your character if you're not careful, and if you don't remember the actual things, you give your character a giant head, give her a cleft lip, you could really screw up really bad if you don't be careful on that part. So I would recommend that if you're going to actually create a character on this and try that out. You'd want to be more experienced before trying these things out. I'm not going to do them in the video. I might just do a quick demo of the easier to understand ones like the height and just things like that. But I'm not going to do an in-depth demo of that. And of course, cat eyes. You can do all kinds of different eyes. And of course, favorite eyes would have to be emerald. That looks kind of creepy. Choose how dark you want the outer eye to be. Of course, eyebrows. Eyebrow color. Not sure why you'd want two different eye <laughs> two different colors for your hair and your eyebrows, but basic options. You can choose uh, how colorful you want the lip gloss and everything too. It's kind of overboard on the... Did I actually do that? No. So where the hell is the... No. It's probably just the preset for the character. Unless... Either way, that's just the lighting of the preset. But I don't think it should have been that. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure why her cheeks are so rosy pink. Is it this? Ah. Ah, I see. So I'm not even going to put any of that on. 
That looks silly. You can make your character super edgy, give him a bunch of scars. Generally though, they look terrible. I wouldn't recommend giving them too many scars, but if you want to make your character unique, you can give them some old trademarks. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Freckles, are you serious? Damn, I didn't even know there was freckles before. Hell yeah, I'm gonna put some freckles on. Can you do freckles underneath? No, you can't. So that's fine. Freckles are good. Quick look at this. This would be the. I always just assume this was her complexion. I'm terrible at that, so I'm not even going to touch that. This would be different changes uh, for the lips. Let's see, minus three. What am I changing here? Smiling, happy, you know. Put back to minus three. What would this be? Six. That'd be the location. What's this, two? See, yeah, you can make your character small all the time. I'm not going to say it looks good, but... Hey, I'm not going to judge. Four. Uh, how puckered the lips are. Two would be good. Yeah, so lots of different options here. If you don't actually know what they are, I'm sure there's a guide somewhere, or at least an image that'll show you what each and every one of them is. It's fairly in-depth. I like all the damn options you get. Frankly, uh, I'm impressed for a free-to-play MMO. Just all the options you can get. And this would be the body. And this is harder to gauge unless you're actually using this. And then, even so, it's still kind of difficult. Some of them, like arm length, hand length, all kinds of things like that. So let's see, 20. Yeah, that'd be the height. Lots of things you can do there. What would 8 be? The width. Okay. Set it to like 10? Yeah, that's fine. What is minus 2? Kind of the height again. Seven. So yeah, lots of damn options here, and yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Of course, the differences between the races are pretty much like the 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 females of the huge buff McHugh teens race. They're a lot more endowed in certain areas than the the beast lollies. So far, I'm really impressed with this character creator. I'd give it. Hell, just before even playing the game, the character creator alone is 9 out of 10. Shit, I could spend hours here creating all kinds of different characters. And there's my character, quickly created. I think it looks pretty damn good. Different thingies, armor. And do some emotes before I shut off the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you want to brave Blade and Soul and actually get into this game, wish you the best of luck. I'm still on the fence. I'm not sure if I want to go through all the guides and everything just to level up. I might just hold out for a localization. Just here's hoping. You never know when they might be released. But NCSoft, of course. You just you just never know with this thing. Like this was even Blade and Soul was even promised for consoles at one point, but they still haven't said anything since December.
So yeah, thanks a lot for watching my videos, guys. Uh, I'll be uploading some more on Final Fantasy of Realm Reborn, patch 2.1. And yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video on this game. Check it out. Make your wafu. Shit. Go wild, man. Enjoy.